Sounds like Aaron's here. I've been running my little 460 with a 20 inch bar on this job just because the hills are pretty steep. I'm rusty getting back into it. My back hurts quite a bit. Uh, I am working two full time jobs. I'm not bitching or trying to make excuses, but I am trying to make an excuse also. So <clears throat> this morning we got some pigs big trees not animals but big trees we got to get cut and that little 460 with a 20 inch bar just ain't gonna cut it so gotta pull out the big boy this morning it's been a while since i used it and i'm not really gaining that much just got a 20 i got to 24 yeah 24 I really ought to have a 28 on this morning. They're pretty good sized trees, but I'll just do some extra notching on the stump where I can get the power head up inside there a little bit. It'll work out. I'm trying to get this job wrapped up before the season hits, which second week of November, uh, we got one, one week left of October before Halloween so or yeah we got one week till Halloween and then we got two weeks before deer season and I would love to get this thing done in the next week and a half this week at work they've actually pushed my schedule back a little bit to where I've got more time to cut timber throughout the day so me and Aaron's going to take use of that and I'm gonna log as much as I can this week and I think we'll put a hell of a dent in it this week as long as we don't have any more breakdowns it's just been a nightmare on this job one after another breakdown after breakdown started out with skitter breakdowns then it went to loader breakdowns and I think we're still having loader breakdowns uh, no, we had another skitter problem the other day, but we definitely, we definitely do not have a timber cutting problem. And I'm not trying to sound arrogant. I'm just, I'm just staying ahead of everybody, which is what I want. I didn't know donkeys walked and pooped at the same time. Huh. But anyways. I'm going to get off here. We got trees over here I got to get tearing into and a lot of them. Dang it. Well, after talking to Aaron, he don't want me over there cutting around the big trees until he gets all that over there skidded out. And there's several hours worth of skidding over there. So I'm just going to fast forward past that. I'm going to come over to this virgin area that I've not worked at. I'm just going to take off cutting down through here. I'm not going to do no topping. Uh, Around that time frame, Aaron ought to be done over there. I'll gather everything back up, top my way back over here to that bigger section with the bigger timber. Let Aaron come over here and then I'll change up and I'll grab the big saw. Right now I'm gonna go back to the 460. Smaller trees, more of a hillside. There's no sense back in that big 395 with a giant orange bar on it for this smaller timber. Here comes the cows, they're hungry. problem I've been having is anything I make a tie size or larger is going to get cut so them two there this one here that furthest poplar down there and they're all wanting to go out in the water except for this one it's actually got back lean on it so what I'm going to try to do is put them across the hillside it's probably going to involve some wedging and some aggravation it's going to take up some time but in the fact in the end result 
if I dump them out in the water, Aaron's got to pull top and all back, and then I got to sit and wait on him to grab a hold of it and drag it back. So I'm better off to spend a little bit extra time on the stump and tree placement, put them where they need to be. That way I can top them and just keep on moving on instead of having to stop and wait on Aaron to come up here and hook them up, pull them out, then top them. So see what happens.
Just gets to wander around and eat all day. <laughs> 